Hey everyone, it's Carmelo from Camaris Customs and Camaris Comics, here with another action figure review. Uh, this has been out for a little while, but I finally got around to the review. I've got the Dark Knight Returns Armored Batman action figure, and uh, overall I think it's a great figure, and I'm really glad I bought it. It uh, really captures Frank Miller's style. It, uh, the, the costume is very on model. It looks a lot like his drawings. Um, it's even got some cool, um, cool paint texture. The, the chest piece here, this is a rubber piece on top of the, uh, the body, which was clever, I think. And, uh, and you can see that it's got some nice shading along the stress marks here. Um, there were a lot of complaints about this figure. A lot of people didn't like the joints, but I thought like they did a good job of balancing the sculpt with the joints. So like the wrists don't move forward or back because they're in this big gauntlet thing. So they just, they just twist. Um, the fist just kind of twists back and forth and I think that's okay because that you know how else was this thing supposed to work you know sometimes things work in comics but they don't really work in three dimensions um, it comes with the gun and uh, you know I would say the quality control on it was a little low though there's a lot of areas if you look at his belt you can see the paint the gray bleeds up into the yellow down here on his leg you can see some of the lighter paint kind of bleeds into the dark blue um, nothing I can't fix with a little customizing but uh, worth mentioning. Uh, the last thing I wanted to say is this figure gives me renewed appreciation for the, uh, the armored Batman from the movie because as I look at the two side by side I realize what a really cool costume design this is. I think it's a really great adaptation of this one here and so I think uh, the Batman vs Superman guys deserve a little kudos for this. So that's my review. I would pick it up. Uh, this will be the last of the Dark Knight figures I'll get because I'm going to pass on the Mutant and the Robin. Uh, the Mutant's just, there's not much to that figure, and I don't really have a place to display it. The Robin's cool, but I just don't care. I am excited that they're going to make the Joker finally. So I've got this guy up on my shelf fighting uh, fighting the Superman from the series, too, which is, I'm really glad they made that. So thanks for watching, and the next week I'll have a review of a couple of uh, uh, Marvel Select and a couple of uh, uh, DC Collectibles coming at you. So talk to you soon.